and men that is little talks today's best music 98.3 the key it's big jim it's stacy lee we're getting it done for a tuesday 6 25 all right let's get you into uh, some of the olympic wrap-up for you this morning the united states picked up two more medals yesterday including a gold in ice skating uh, figure skaters merrill davis and charlie white uh, won both the short program and free dance competitions uh, canada took silver our other medal uh, was a bronze won by Steve Holcomb and Steve Langston in the two-man bobsled competition. And it's the first time that we've medaled in that in 62 years. Wow. Yeah, in cool. 2010, Holcomb won gold in a four-man bobsled. And it was the first time a, a U.S. team had won since 1948. By the way, he'll be going for another gold uh, in that event coming up this weekend. The end of Monday's competition, the U.S. had five gold, four silver, nine bronze. Here's how uh, we rank overall uh, in the medals. Russia with 18. U.S. with 18, but Russia has three more silvers than us. Uh, the Netherlands with 17 medals. Norway with 15 medals. Canada with 15 uh, as well. In the uh, gold medal rankings, Germany led and leads uh, with eight gold, while the U.S. and uh, five other countries have uh, five apiece. Hey, we beat Russia in hockey. That's all I cared about. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> hockey. And Bodie Miller got his bronze mil- uh, medal over the weekend, mm-hmm. finally, too. So There's a great photo that's circulating from the Olympics. Have you seen it yet? It's the uh, elderly woman in the crowd that's trying to uh, take a photo at the uh, Russian hockey game. But she has her digital camera pointed the wrong way. (laughs) So she's accidentally taking a photo of her eye. (laughs) You can actually see her eye in the screen of the camera. You know how the cameras are? (laughs) I love it. (laughs) Oh, by the way, the Olympics would be a great place for a protest. Uh, You'd get the entire world's attention. And with Russia's anti-gay stance, no one would have surprised if protesters had turned up. Turns out uh, that hasn't happened yet. And in fact, the only protest at the Olympics so far has been a group of Russian teenagers protesting a ref's controversial call from the uh, Russia-U.S. hockey game over the weekend. Activism ain't what it used to be, people. Telling you. You ever watch the uh, ice skating at the Olympics? I love the ice skating. It's one of my favorite events. Here's the thing. Events. You watch the ice skating, but you got the announcers. They never shut up. Ever. I mean, they constantly talk. Yeah. Triple sal cow. Oh, and she landed yeah. that perfect three minutes. You know what I'm saying, though. They just talk and they talk <laughs> yeah. and they talk and they talk and they talk. You know, what would happen if we were replaced by, say, the Olympic announcers? You want to find out? Here's what it would sound like, people. Hello, this is Jack Kavicki, along with Don Hoffner, here for the playing of the song Royals by a young girl named, I believe it's Lorday, like Lord with an E. Uh, the E is silent there, Jack, some sort of Australian thing, which is her home country. Yeah, so we're getting word that the song is queued up and ready to play. I've never seen a diamond. And we're off with a strong vocal right out of the gate. No musical <laughs> intro, no <laughs> cowboy. Act cold opens very unusual for a pop song, Jack. Takes a lot of confidence. That's a gutsy move for a young girl. Now, let's see if it works out for her. And I believe we're coming up to the first element here, the harmony. These are going to be simple two-part harmonies, Jack. A basic harmonic overdub. <laughs> and there they are. Two voices in unison. Spot on harmony. It's my ear. I'm hearing a lot of precision in her phrasing. Nice crisp vocals with clean end. Jack, if I may, I believe she's added a third harmony to this section. You know, I saw her try this in rehearsal. She was having some trouble with it, but uh, all certainly seems to be lining up now. Yes, it is. And there's the hook. She's absolutely <laughs> nailed it. That's a strong hook, too. A five-note motif with a descending slide from the fifth to the third and an echo cadence for emphasis. Oh, here it comes again. Oh, that's very nice. An excellent callback to the original motif. Listen to the vocal stacking going on right here. Oh, that's sweet. What is that clicking, Don? Is that finger snaps or maybe it's stick breaking? I think it's finger snaps, uh, possibly with some sort of electronic manipulation. Uh, and some more vocal stacking. Let me live that fantasy. Well, that ends the song. The fans are very appreciative. We'll be back right after this to find out what the judges thought. Don't go away. So the next time you think we talk too much, mm-hmm. we really don't, people. All right.